SpaceX is an American aerospace manufacturer and space transportation services company. In this video, we are going to talk about the 16 first times in aerospace history achieved by SpaceX. The fourth flight of the Falcon 1 rocket successfully flew on 28 September 2008, delivering a 165kg non-functional boilerplate spacecraft into low Earth orbit. It was Falcon 1's first successful launch and the first successful orbital launch of any privately funded and developed, liquid-propelled carrier rocket. SpaceX launched Rizak SAT on 14 July 2009 using a Falcon 1 rocket. This was the fifth flight of a Falcon 1 and put a commercial satellite in orbit. Elon Musk, founder and CEO of SpaceX, told a reporter the launch had been a success. We nailed the orbit to well within target parameters, pretty much a bullseye. Musk said. SpaceX COTS Demo Flight 1 was the first orbital spaceflight of the Dragon cargo spacecraft, and the second overall flight of the Falcon 9 rocket manufactured by SpaceX. It was also the first demonstration flight for NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services Program, also known as COTS. SpaceX COTS Demo Flight 2, also known as Dragon C2+, was the second test flight for SpaceX's uncrewed Cargo Dragon spacecraft, launched on the third flight of the company's two-stage Falcon 9 launch vehicle. The Dragon C2 Plus spacecraft was the first American vehicle to visit the ISS since the end of the Space Shuttle program. It was also the first commercial spacecraft to rendezvous and berth with another spacecraft. SES-8 is a geostationary communication satellite operated by SES. SES-8 was successfully launched on SpaceX Falcon 9 V1.1 on 3 December 2013. It was the first flight of any SpaceX launch vehicle to a supersynchronous transfer orbit, an orbit with a somewhat larger apogee than the more usual geostationary transfer orbit typically utilized for communication satellites. Falcon 9 Flight 20 was a Falcon 9 space launch that occurred on the 22nd of December 2015. It was the first time that the first stage of an orbital rocket made a successful return and vertical landing. SpaceX CRS-8, also known as SPX-8, was a commercial resupply service mission to the International Space Station, which was launched on April 8, 2016. It was the first landing of an orbital rocket's first stage on an ocean platform. SES-10 was launched on 30 March 2017 aboard a Falcon 9 full thrust. The launch marked the first time in aerospace history that an orbital class first stage was successfully reused. The first stage was recovered for a second time. Another record comes from a successful splashdown of the payload fairings. The CRS-11 mission was the first time that a Dragon spacecraft has been reused, helping SpaceX to scale back its production line and shift focus to Dragon 2. The Falcon Heavy test flight was the first attempt by SpaceX to launch a Falcon Heavy rocket on February 6, 2018. The successful test introduced the Falcon Heavy as the most powerful rocket in operation, and SpaceX's first private company to send a Tesla Roadster into heliocentric orbit. Crew Dragon Demo-1 was the first orbital test of the Dragon 2 spacecraft. This first spaceflight was an uncrewed mission that launched on March 2, 2019, and arrived at the International Space Station on March 3. It was the first time a private company sent a human-rated spacecraft to space and autonomously dock a spacecraft to the International Space Station. The SpaceX Raptor is a full-flow, staged combustion, methane-fueled rocket engine manufactured by SpaceX. The engine is powered by cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen, rather than the RP-1 kerosene and LOX used in SpaceX's prior Merlin and Kestrel rocket engines. Raptor engines began flight testing on the Starhopper in July 2019 and became the first full-flow staged combustion rocket engine ever flown. Starlink 1 Falcon 9 launch on November 11, 2019 was the first reuse of payload fairing. The fairing was from the ArabSat 6A mission in April earlier that year. 
On May 30, 2020, SpaceX launched Dragon Crew Demo 2, which was the first crewed orbital flight ever operated by a private company. It was also the first crewed orbital spaceflight launched from the United States since the final Space Shuttle mission in 2011. Another record is that it is the first private company to send humans to the International Space Station. Wow, we're making history again. Let's go! We are one step by one step accomplishing what we need to do as a nation to lead again in space, and it's not just rhetoric. Once again, proudly launch American astronauts on American rockets, the best in the world, from right here on American soil.